You know, millions of restaurants across the country, from major chains to small mom and pop stores, are overhauling the way they do business. Many of them have closed their dining rooms and are just focusing on takeout orders, a lot smaller orders than they usually are accustomed to. But what changes are they making in the kitchen to make sure the food and the surfaces are not contaminated? Jessica Tyree, a former state health inspector with Restaurant Compliance Solutions, joins us now to discuss. And Jessica, you know, restaurants they do who do well on health inspections, they're already fully equipped to make sure that things are clean. So what are those codes that really kind of reinforce what's already been being done and what we're told to do in our homes? Good morning, Melanie. Um, so food code requires, one of the requirements is to have um, sanitizer levels that, um, sanitizer that's used in dish machines um, and to clean surfaces. The levels have to be at uh, um, certain requirements. So they have test strips to check those levels um, to make sure that they, the sanitizer is strong enough to kill bacteria. Um, hand washing, of course, uh, the food code requires um, different uh, times when you need to wash your hands and eat throughout this um, virus, uh, we should be washing our hands more frequently um, and uh, storing personal items. So um, phones, jackets, purses, that kind of stuff, things that come back and forth from somebody's house, um, they, have, uh, they should have designated storage areas for those items. Yeah, and monitoring sick employees and kind of getting a feel for who could potentially be at risk down the line, I would imagine that is so important right now that these managers are having these real conversations. Right, right. And, and it's tough, too, because um, normally in this industry, if you don't go to work, you don't make money. But, um, you know, while we're all working through this together, um, we all need to do our part. And um, the, the state is recommending if anybody has any symptoms of illness um, or has been around um, anybody who's traveled or has traveled, um, that they stay home from work. Um, the food code also requires any symptoms of illness that people stay home and not work. Yeah, so this all makes sense. You know, they're familiar with the rules. Do you suggest any other precautions that, you know, restaurant workers and managers can take to make sure the food supply doesn't get contaminated? Um, the, the biggest thing is hand washing. Um, so, you know, there are different requirements in the food code before people touch food, um, after people touch money, especially cashiers. Um, you know, they're taking money from the public, so they should make sure that they're washing their hands after they touch money. Um, before they handle food, uh, you know, so hand washing is really the biggest thing right now and, and cleaning and sanitizing. Yeah, and we can kind of police that as well. If we see something that doesn't look right, you know, speak up about it. Talking about, you know, customers and what we can do to help out. You know, some restaurants, we were talking about this, Firehouse Subs, they have done away with the fountain machine. So there's actually one person who works there giving the drinks out. So you can't just go up there and touch those surfaces. That any, that's probably a good thing. Right, yes, definitely. Um, and there are a lot of restaurants that have eliminated self-service areas and buffets. Um, and at this point, I think that's probably, yes, a great idea. So I have one for you because uh, someone I know came in with some coffee from the convenience store yesterday. Do you think that that might be something we shouldn't do right now? Um, I think if you are doing it, it should be, you should be using a dispenser that has a, a handle that you turn on and off, maybe not a coffee pot that you pour out of. Um, you know, that minimizes your exposure if, the, if you're just turning the valve on and off. Um, and then obviously just, you know, making sure you're washing your hands, sanitizing your hands after. All right, Jessica, thank you so much. Good luck with you. I know you, you do inspections for restaurants before the state gets there. That's your job. And right now... Restaurants are not using you as they are. So, you know, one of the many people affected by this virus. Thanks for coming in today. Thanks for having me.